Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. This is another of my ad-libbed contrarian uh, rants, or hopefully sub-rant. Um, I do not understand why in many areas, uh, including all of California, there is pretty much a ban on building any new freeways or freeway lanes. And indeed, um, the Democratic Party is very convinced that we should be putting all our money in mass transit which in theory sounds great. Save the planet, save money. Build it and they will come is the argument. But when one looks at the probability that not building freeways and forcing people into gridlock, which is what most often happens because mass transit takes twice as long, even if it's possible to get where you want, the likelihood of that having an impact on climate change is absolutely trivial. But with 100% certitude, millions of people who are already, their days are already overpacked, are forced to sit, ironically, spewing more and more pollutants from their cars, wasting hours in gridlock, getting stressed out. And we all know stress is bad for your health, bad for your relationships, bad for your work productivity. And ironically, if, we're, if, if one of the reasons they don't want to build freeways is to save money, as though they don't raise, raise, up enough money, raise enough money in taxes, there will no doubt be increased health care costs for the day in and day out, uh, forcing millions of people to sit in unpredictable traffic that ranges from slow to gridlock. And in an ever increasing amount, it almost reminds me of the movie They Shoot Horses, Don't They?, where they put everybody on the dance floor and they, uh, they have hundreds of people on the dance floor and only the final two, they get to win a car or whatever. In the meantime, everybody else is dropping to the floor. This is what's going on for all of us. We are, they are building, there's, the population is increasing in the metropolitan areas enormously, and, but there's no new freeways. So it's all closing in around us and the gridlock increases and increases and increases so much for no, no rant. This is something I'm very passionate about because it really hurts millions of people with little benefit. And I see, you know, there was one of the more vivid examples of the silliness of some of the mass transit things they've been trying. In Napa, which is pretty near where I live, they decided they were going to do a trolley. And they, they, and this trolley goes all around the Napa area and it, it rode around empty because it was just a hassle to use. It came too infrequently. It didn't get you where you wanted to go. So, just seeing that thing going around and around empty is quite a metaphor or a microcosm for what I think is going on with our brilliant transportation planners. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, we should be building more freeways. And if anything, putting if we're looking for alternatives, this you know it, it's not a short-term solution, but we have one plane in which roads can be built. But there are infinite number of planes that individual or group flying cars, which have been talked about for decades, and there are some prototypes available, it would be a likely way to avoid having to build very expensive freeways if we invested in smart, automated vehicles, not only for land, but um, flying cars, flying vans, etc. Uh, that's merely one idea. And of course, when you're, when you're flying above, then you can use, to a greater extent, solar power. And I also think that compact nuclear is, again, we're talking 20, 30, 40 years. But that may be ultimately a wiser solution than simply building more freeways. But certainly in the short term, it strikes me that rather than subjecting people to this gridlock, and by the way, there are so many places that people just can't go. I'm going to just talk about me because I know myself best. I have a friend who's dying. He only lives 15 miles away, but it takes two hours to get there in the Bay Area gridlock traffic. I wanted to rehearse with a, with a singer. I can't do it because the traffic, again, she's only 10 miles away, but it takes an hour and a half. So we're going to do it by phone, which is nowhere near as good. Um, play, any play, place I want to go, go out to eat, unless it's right near me, I can't go. Uh, I want to, my wife and I live separate for part of the week. And once during the week, I'd like to go see her. I can't leave the house until 8 or 9 o'clock because the gridlock, the, the quote, rush hour traffic is now extended so that the freeway, even at 7.30, is nightmarish. Multiply me and my examples by thousands 
millions of people whose freedom is tremendously restricted because of the theoretical idea that it's better to spend money on mass transit than on freeways. And no matter how much we spend, they're just they're, most metropolitan areas are just too spread out. I mean, you can do it in New York. But you can't do it in Los Angeles. You can't do it in San Francisco. I don't know most other metropolitan areas, but they're never as condensed as that. So you're going to spend billions and billions of dollars to build mass transit, like the the bullet train that uh, the idiot, idiocy that uh, Gavin that Jerry Brown and now Gavin Newsom uh, is interested in. Um, so that's the end of my. I totally failed at not not ranting. I was a total rant. But it's, you know, it hurts me to see the millions of people whose lives are so restricted because of this. Wasted hours of one's day, pollution coming out of the tailpipes from sitting in gridlock, and the many, many places we can't go, including work. Our work range that we can work is so restricted because, you know, who wants to sit in, in traffic for two or two hours each way? So we're, we're forced to... Our job search can only be in a very narrow range, and therefore it's harder to find a well-suited job. Anyway, that's probably more than you want to know, but that's one of my hot-button issues, as you can tell. Anyway, as always, I welcome your down below there. You can make a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <coughs> you can write a comment, and uh, if you're, there's also a share button, so if you feel like it, you can share it in social media. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.